I wanted to turn now to talking about how you got into this because you also own a company called Turnstile Tours. And tell us a little bit about what Turnstile Tours does. Sure. So uh, how I got into this, I, I've been in the museum world for about 10 years and um, the I worked at the Lower East Side Tenement for many years and um, ended up being the access coordinator there. So responsible for making the tours engaging for all visitors. Um, and at the same time, I also uh, managed the tours and the tour guides. And I realized as time went on that what I really loved was sharing stories and connecting with the public. And um, wanted to do it on my own. So, so after several years of balancing multiple different part-time jobs and doing museum consulting, um, uh, I started uh, Turnstile Tours um, a couple of years ago. Um, and all of our tours operate in partnership with nonprofit organizations. So um, we give back to communities through the tours that we offer, both financially and also supporting the missions of those respective nonprofit organizations. So, for example, we give a food cart tour in Midtown in the financial district, and we're partnered up with the Street Vendor Project, which helps street vendors um, advocate for themselves here in New York City and engage fairly in their trade. Um, we're partnered up with the um, Brooklyn Navy Yard Center at Building 92, which is a visitor and exhibition center at the Brooklyn Navy Yard, um, which was the nation's foremost shipbuilding naval shipbuilding facility during World War II and even beyond, um, and is today a, an innovative industrial park um, with over 330 different companies. So we give all the public tours of the Brooklyn Navy Yard on behalf of the Brooklyn Navy, uh, on behalf of um, the museum that's located there. Um, and, and then we have other programs. The Brooklyn Army Terminal is also on the industrial waterfront um, in Brooklyn. Um, and then a tour of a Latin American public market. Um, but all of these various tours, the, the goal for us, the overarching goal for all the work that we do is to document stories that are underrepresented in the public record, whether they're historical or today, that we're all a part of history um, and making history now and to foster connections between people of diverse backgrounds and really inspire in people um, a culture, a, a culture of, of sort of civic and community engagement. So if I'm coming to the New York area and, mm -hmm. and I'm interested in seeing some different things and having some adventures with my son, I, mm -hmm. can, I can contact Turnstile Tours and know that you're gonna give us a tour that is gonna be uplifting and wonderful and deeply meaningful, but that we're also gonna be on that tour with somebody who not only has an understanding of some of the challenges that we might encounter, but is actually interested in that. Yeah, so it's a uh, fascinating. More than <laughs> yeah, so we're excited about that. I, I might have shared this with you when we spoke before, but some of, at least personally, some of my most favorite tours have been for people on the autism spectrum, and that's because they help me. I might give a tour hundreds of times, um, but then I learn, some, I see the topic or the place in a totally different way, and I learn something new from the person who has autism because we all think in different ways, right? Um, so, and more than our half of our staff members have experience working with people who have special needs. So one of our tour guides actually worked in a middle school classroom um, teaching students with developmental disabilities. Another woman oversaw um, accessibility for a cultural institution. That actually, she was at the Tenement Museum after I was, and she's now getting her PhD in studying disabilities. So. Um, we are psyched. We want to see you guys. And um, we are, we're actually very excited. We'll be um, hosting, uh, we haven't posted the dates yet, but we will be, we have a yard inspectors tour at the Brooklyn Navy Yard, which is for families and uh, with children. And it's very hands-on experience, incredibly visual, multi-sensory, and um, it gets out into the shipyard. You get to see a functioning dry dock and how ships are repaired and fire boats and those sort of things. Um, and we are adapting that um, to make it, um, you know, we're gonna be hosting special events where we bring in the public and try it out for the first time for families um, on the autism spectrum. So that's coming soon as well. 
Cindy, I think it's so important for people in our community to know that people like you exist, who are excited about our community, who are excited about learning where our community can access what is already there and how to do that in a really positive way. Where can people find out more information about Turnstile Tours? Um, you can visit our website at turnstiletours.com and it's turnstile, not like the old timey record player, but like the subway. So T-U-R-N-S-T-I-L-E okay. tours.com. Um, and I do want to say that, you know what, we're in this together, like in life, right? And um, a lot, this is about building community and being compassionate and learning from one another. 